Welcome to step four of the uh, Vacation Caravan Stitch Along. I am Kristen from Brooklyn Haberdashery, and we are hosting Krista from Om Chat Damakri, the famous embroidery company from France. She's joining us this evening from France. And we will go through a few more stitches today for the fourth step, and we can keep uh, stitching along during the week, and we'll finish up next week. Um, we have confirmed the fifth and final date for the stitch along uh, because of the holiday in the U.S. Uh, next Monday. Instead, we'll actually meet on Wednesday, July 7th, for the final step of the stitch along. Uh, with that, I will let Crystal get started. Crystal. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm so happy to be with you for this uh, new, uh, new step of our vacation caravan, uh, which will uh, soon be able to hit the road uh, with uh, its new uh, wells. Um, we are going to embroider the two wells today. Um, this step uh, will be uh, quick because we have very few stitches to work. Uh, um, so you you know uh, that now I apologize in advance for any mistakes in uh, my, um, I, I make in English. <laughs> and uh, if you have any question, please uh, post your comments and uh, I will try to uh, help you. And uh, if I don't understand, Christine is here to, uh, to help me. Uh, so today we are going uh, to uh, to see uh, one new stitch, uh, and uh, we have two uh, ways uh, to embroider it, uh, one by one or by embroidering uh, it continuously. Hello, Terry. <laughs> Alors, um, then after we are repeat uh, the spider uh, web back stitch, then the st shim stitch. So let's start. Um, you can take uh, um, the first page uh, just to see what, uh, what uh, we need to do today. So this is the purple part over there, the two wells, the back of uh, the caravan. And um, the stitch we are going to see, it's this one just inside the fly stitch, okay? Uh, so if you check the uh, technical instruction number two, you can see here the name of the stitch. So the fly stitch and in French, the name is point de plume and the color is three. Uh, the color three, it's this one, it's a gray color. The first uh, color in, on your uh, on your uh, color chart, okay? Coucou Virginie. <laughs> uh, so we need to embroider with the double thread, as uh, the previous uh, step. So uh, you know that also now you take just one thread, you uh, you double it. It means two extremities of threads inside the needle, over there, okay? And you have the hoop, the loop, sorry, on the other extremity. So we are going to secure the thread by bringing up the needle. Uh, I'm going to make a zoom, sorry. Il faut que tu enlèves le carré vert aussi. OK. So you bring up the needle just um, on the top. And you can see you have a small stitch over there. A straight stitch. So you bring up the needle. You go down just to the intersection. You go on the back and pass inside the loop. Sorry, okay. La la, il faut que je sois là. Okay, now 
you just um, uh, we are going to uh, to put the uh, left-handed screen. Tu mets l'écran gauche. Voilà. So you bring up the needle on the left side. You keep the thread under the left thumb and you down on the right side. Then emerge your needle at the intersection. Encore un signe. OK. OK. I hope it's OK with the zoom. Yes. Then you take the needle to the back at the end of the small of the small line, just at the intersection, just to finish it. This is the first fly stitch. So we will embroider the following ones in the same way. It means you bring up the needle on the left side, go down on the right side, and emerge on the center. And now you can bring up the needle, bring up the needle directly. So for the left hand did it's exactly the same, but you emerge on the right side and go down on the left side. Qu'est-ce que tu dis? Okay, so um, you need to remember to uh, pull your threads always look towards you, okay? And closest to the fabric. How do you do the top? Elizabeth, you didn't see. <laughs> so just to start, Elizabeth, look, you need to make the small first stitch over there. I just, um, uh, I just say you emerge the needle on the top over there and go down to the intersection just here. Okay, Elizabeth? Try to do it, and if you uh, if it's not possible for you, I, I will uh, I will um, uh, I will make another example just over there. Okay, just one moment. I'm going to show you just just near. Look, you make Elizabeth. It's just for you. <laughs> Bonjour Marie du Québec. Look, you make the small straight stitch. Okay, you bring up the needle on the left, go down on the right, and bring up the needle at the end of the first stitch. Not that. Not that, Elizabeth. Sorry, what do you want to know? <laughs> I can't get to this on my computer. It finally came on my phone. Ah, ça c'est Peggy. Hello, Peggy. Okay, and is it okay on your phone, Peggy? And Elizabeth, if you can um, ask uh, your question uh, with another way, please, just to understand what do you want to know. And uh, I continue. Uh, the first stitch. Hello, Peggy. Thank you very much for your post. Uh, I saw your uh, your homework. The round part. Which round part? We don't have a round part. On this tape, we are going to make this fly stitch. And uh, uh, if you speak about this part, uh, 
uh, we saw this part in the step uh, two, uh, two or three, uh, two, 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 three, last step. <laughs> You're welcome, Peggy. Is it what you want to know, Elizabeth? Yes, okay, sorry. <laughs> the name of this red stitch is Button All Wells. And you can find it on the state two, okay? And you can see it on the replay, yes. Oops, sorry. Click, click, click. <laughs> so um, what I say, it's, uh, yes, to remem uh, remember to pull your stitch always towards you and uh, closest to the fabric. Uh, it, uh, uh, if you pull it uh, on the top, your stitch will, sh uh, how do you say in English, shrink uh, to reduce. Uh, so if you want, <laughs> I can see your eye, uh, Christine, did you, do you understand? Um, if you pull on the top, to the top, the stitch will reduce. So you need to pull towards you always. <laughs> okay? Okay, knew that. So you just need to continue on this way. Also, uh, don't forget to keep uh, uh, the threads uh, under your thumb. Uh, it will allow you to keep the good tension. Huh? This is the secret to have a good tension. Hello for the new ones. That was the one that needed the link. Elle dit qu'elle veut le lien. Okay, so you continue in this way until you finish the line. This is a very simple stitch. Stitch, is it okay for you? You go down. And bring up the needle. And what I would like to show you, it's not on this uh, on this model, but I'm going to show you how you can uh, do a one by one. Um, yes, and also um, I will let you finish uh, this uh, stitch until the end of the line. And I would like to show you how you can do um, the correct technique for leaving your thread. On all is to make a large stitch. Tiens, tu peux enlever le, les gauchers. You make a large stitch towards the outside of the fabric so that it doesn't bother you to embroider the next stitch. Can you see? Sorry. Yes. And uh, you will be able to continue your stitch uh, quietly at the place where you stop it. Okay? Is it okay for everybody? This is a way just to, uh, to wait. So what I would like to show you, it's not on this model, but normally when you embroider a fly stitch, I'm going to show you, yes. You see, yes, on va mettre un peu de, un peu de netteté. 
Okay, so just one fly stitch, it's this one with a small straight stitch to fix it. Or if you want, you can make also a large one. It depends on what do you want to do. Look, yips. You see? So in French, uh, this technical, this stitch is point de plume en ligne. In English, it's a, how do you say, fly stitch, a continue fly stitch, we can say. Okay? So this is okay for the fly stitch. And uh, now we are going to, uh, yes, I would like to, uh, to show you what you need uh, what you need to do uh, so first of all you need to embroider all the line with uh, the fly stitch uh, and after just after you can make the stem stitch on all the outline okay it's better to start with the fly stitch and um, now um, uh, we are going to see uh, the wipe it back stitch uh, just over there, the blue one. And uh, to make the well, it's better to start from inside to outside. That's why we, it's better to, uh, to make this one uh, just uh, right now. And to choose to see the color, um, uh, we have two embroidered wheels, uh, wells, uh, so wells, um, we will start with the smaller on the right side over there. Okay, and the color are the same. And uh, the color of the wiped circle or the wipe backstitch is uh, uh, 3810. <laughs> 3810. Okay. And this is the blue part. Just over there. So for a two embroider this stitch, you uh, you just need one double straight. So I'm going to prepare my threads. Up. Just let me time to prepare. So I don't know if uh, we have new uh, new people, but I'm going to show you how to double the threads. So you take just one, you pull it until the end. You take the two extremities. And you put the two extremities inside the eye of the needle. Okay, so you have your loop over there. So try to place the draw just on the center of the hoop. I remind you that the best size for the hoop is, is 10 centimeter. Okay, and um, uh, we are, um, I remind you uh, to embroider this stitch, you need a hold or even number of uh, straight stitches. Uh, and here I suggest you to make seven, one, two, three, four, five, no, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six stitches, okay? You just have to follow the draw. So, Pardon? No, you can, yes, yes, I, don't, uh, I just say, you, you can have an odd or even number, it doesn't matter. So uh, this is my assistant. <laughs> Karim, give me instruction. <laughs> so uh, take a mark just to <laughs> secure the thread, okay? To have a, to, to have a mark, you turn your work and you take just 
Oops, one straight. And you pass inside. Alors, look, uh, make attention that uh, the straight stitch, uh, sorry, the draw, you can see the end is um, at the end, uh, is sorry, the line uh, finish on the outside outline, on the second one. So try to, uh, try to bring up the needle on the second circle not on the first one and go down on the center okay so you make the straight stitches with a good tension The last one. You go down just on the center. Okay, then you bring to the front between two stitches and as close as possible to the center. Okay, so you can see I'm just between those two. And now we are going to work with the other side of the needle and um, we are going to pass the needle above this stitch on the right. So I'm going to make, um, Karim, uh, we need the, the, the other screen for the left-handed, please. Okay, so um, now we pass uh, the needle above this stitch on the left, then slide the needle below it, then under the next one. It means you pass under two stitches. And you pull to outside, then towards you and you repeat with the same way. You need to make sure that stitches remain side by side on all stitches. And to do this, oh, sorry, sorry, yes. To do this, uh, you pull the thread outwards, then towards you. If you have any question, feel free to uh, to ask on the comments. Okay. We saw this uh, stitch on the first step, but the difficulty is uh, here. It's uh, the, the stitch is uh, is very small, and you turn your hoop. and continue just to feel until you feel in the circle. Okay. The direction of the tension is very important. And to keep Keep the, the thread under the left uh, thumb, help you also. Content de te retrouver, Christelle. Nathalie de Lyon. Bonjour, Christelle. Rebonjour. <laughs> we have some French uh, 
friend today. So you can continue if you uh, can pass under the stitch, the previous stitch, it's okay, you continue. And don't worry if all the straight stitches are not covered uh, because after we will embroider um, all around uh, a sham stitch uh, that can hide uh, imperfection. Okay. So um, it will be a pleasure for me to know uh, where where do you live? Can you uh, can you write uh, your uh, how do you say your town or your state state? Allez, one more. <laughs> we have French people because uh, just uh, on the beginning of the afternoon today, we just finished the last tape uh, of um, the uh, vacation uh, caravan in France. Yes, Oklahoma City, yes. Montpellier, Vermont, USA, but Montpellier, it's a French name of a, a French city, Virginie Beach. Hello, Vanessa, Barbarina, hello. Port Saint-Lucie, Floride, hello, Jay. Mm -hmm. I'm in the south of France, just right now, in the Provence. Elizabeth, on the Texas. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Anita Ceviche is Marineland, a few blocks north of Washington, D.C. is also an American city, the state capital of the state of Vermont. I didn't know. Montpellier, it's about two hours from my city in the south of France. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, look, I just, I think it's okay. I can do any more, perhaps one more, but you can see it's become difficult to pass. So I think it's okay. It's enough. So just to finish, you go down. Stevenson, Washington, USA. Hello, Terry. Mm -hmm. okay. Comment on dit, est-ce que vous êtes déjà venu en France? How do you say, have you never been in France? Yes, we can't. So this is our wiped back stitch, okay? And uh, what uh, we are going to do now, it's just to hide the imperfection. <laughs> so uh, we are going to make the shame stitch. Alors. Uh, you can see it just all around the stitch. So uh, we are going to... Uh, Willison, North Dakota. Hello, Joey. Nice to see you. <laughs> well, it's sympa. I'm happy. I've been to France more than once. Huh? Cool, Elizabeth. And where did you go? Hello, Anne-Marie. Sergi, France. Eh oui, Anne-Marie. Sergi, Sergi, this is uh, on the north of France. <laughs> So uh, now we are going to use, uh, um, for the chain stitch, the 310 color. Okay? One double straight. Yes, uh, this is the black color. 
So one more time, one double thread, two extremities inside the needle. Okay? Is it okay for everybody? Did you finish uh, your, uh, your wiped back stitch or not? I think yes. Allez, vamos. <laughs> so just to uh, just to make uh, to start the chain stitch, uh, I suggest to you to fix your threads inside the previous stitches over there. Elizabeth, Nice, Paris. Yes, you travel a lot. Not too far away, Joe. I've been to Paris several times and Chantilly, the castle for a conference in 2017. My mother spent part of her shellwood in Fontainebleau and we flamed in French. Yeah, good. <laughs> we saw beautiful things, a beautiful castle. So you go inside the loop, okay? And you just bring the needle on Yes, a zoom, and on va mettre la partie gauche. Uh, just uh, near the blue, uh, blue threads. And you keep the thread under the thumb. So you go down in the same hole. Okay and try to bring up the needle just two millimeters after. Try to make them small. It's, uh, it's more beautiful. And when you finish the first one, you keep the tension. I'm going to make a zoom, okay? Okay. And now for the second one, you need to go inside the loop, inside, huh? try in the same hole and make the second one. I used to work at the post office in Kindler and Halliday, so even closer. Uh -huh. Elle se parle en très long. <laughs> so, um, uh, the difficulty for the chain stitch is to make them uh, small and uh, closer to uh, the, uh, the wiped back stitch. Okay? And you turn your hoop. You keep the tension with your thumb. Yep. Ah, uh, look, I've got a problem. So it just because the thread are not the same tension. So I'm going to take just one and pull, try to see which one is not okay. Okay. And after you can just try to, uh, I don't know in English, but try to make them uh, regular. I hope you understand. So one more. And I'm going to show you how to stop perfectly <laughs> your round. So one the last one, look, you bring up the needle just at the beginning, sorry, of the first one. Okay. And just to stop, you make the small stitch inside the loop 
of the first one. And just fix it. Alors, um, for those, uh, the, um, les, pro les prochains, for the next, uh, the next stitches, we, we saw them on the uh, last session, but uh, if you want, uh, if you want to see, to repeat another stitch, uh, just, uh, just let a comment. I don't know if you want to see another one, if you want to repeat one. Okay, don't hesitate. Feel free to, uh, to ask me. And uh, just to uh, to wait your comment, uh, I would like to show you. Uh, hello, okay, I'm going to take off the zoom. Okay. So um, what you need to do is do so first uh, the wiped back stitch, uh, the chain stitch. And you can see on this line and on the other one, this is only a stem stitch, okay? So you can start from the center, you, you embroider on this way, and you pass uh, under uh, the back just uh, to the, the next line, and you can work on this way, the stem stitch, okay? And after inside, we have a running stitch, a very small running stitch. I can show you. Yips. On va faire une petite uh, netteté. Okay. Do you can see the stem stitch and the running stitch inside? And just uh, on the outline of the well, you have a circle of chain stitch, the gray one. Uh, I, uh, I recommend you to embroider the, this one, uh, first of all. The second one after, the purple one. And the third one, just close the second one. And perhaps it's better to, uh, to see this one. This is exactly, exactly the same work, okay? The wiper circle, uh, the wipe uh, back stitch, chain stitch, the stem stitch, and don't cut your threads. You can pass directly the running stitch after and the three row of chain stitch. Uh, I think you have um, also you have over there on this part. Two line of stem stitch. I suggest you to embroider uh, in the first uh, first table the chain stitch. Then after you can embroider the stem stitch all around. It's better to uh, to hide the ink. Okay, and um, you have also the two side on the right side, on the left side. And I don't know the name in English, but the, of this part. But you have a chain stitch, so you have um, you have work, homework for this station, and a lot of chain stitch. You will be uh, how do you say in English? Uh, Exper experiment uh, <laughs> in in chain stitch. Okay. So, do you have any question? Would you like to uh, Would you like to see another stitch? Or no, I, I can't see any comments. Okay, and um, you know what? I'm going to show you something just uh, just before uh, to stop. Um, where is my, yes, my embroidery uh, stitches. And after I would like to show you, we have a, a, a next uh, SAL for Christmas, for the winter in France, and I'm going to show you uh, the model. But uh, first of all, uh, I would like to show you the fly stitch on, um, on the notebook. So you see on this part, you can see here one by one, and just over there on the, uh, with a continue line. This is a fly stitch over there also. 
you can see them in orange just here. On this part also, this is a very simple stitch, but uh, it gives a good effect to, uh, to put my down. Okay, this is on the third page uh, of the, the Android Renate book. We saw this page on the last day. And uh, that's all for this uh, notebook. Um, if you want it, uh, if you want to have a look, uh, I know uh, Christina, you can find it on uh, uh, her website and you have everything inside the kit to, uh, to, uh, to do it. Ah, look, we have a fly stitch also on the last uh, cover over there, over there. I use a lot of, and just here, this is a continue line of fly stitch okay and uh, and uh, yes i would like to show you something it's not available for this moment but i just finish my model i need to finish the mountain you say the mountain not the mountain uh, to finish it but you see and uh, we have a lot of fly stitch also, and a lot of uh, stitches we saw on the on the previous uh, on the previous uh, step. But uh, what I want to say is, uh, stitches are very simple, and it's just the the way you use it and the color you chose. It gives you a very uh, a very beautiful uh, effect. Oh look, this is oh yes yes this is a very very close. Tu peux faire une netteté? A very, very close fly stitch just on this part, you see? Very close. Okay. Can you demonstrate the scallop button all stitch at top of the caravan? Alors, uh, le scallop, je sais pas lequel c'est. Just uh, The scallop one. I don't remember the name in English of the scallop button all uh, stitch. Um, Christine, can you help me with the draw of the caravan just to show me uh, which stitches she wants to uh, she wants to uh, to see? Tu peux mettre le son, uh, Karim, s'il te plaît. You you can speak. Huh? I can I, I can listen to you. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm. I'm looking to see if I can better understand. Okay. The scallop button all stitch. You can tap it in English, Karim. We are going to see uh, the name. Button all stitch is okay. A point de feston. Scallop. S-C-A-L-L-O-P. Scallop is like a half circle, Krista. Half circle. Okay. Oh, okay. So this one, she wants to see this one, I think. Okay. Okay. Elizabeth, is it this stitch you want to see? Yes, I think it's this one. Okay. So yes, Elizabeth, I can show you. And uh, if you um, if you um, if you don't understand what you can do, uh, it was on the second uh, on the second step, okay? The one that alternative gray and uh, and black. Yes, Elizabeth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Allez, let's go for the last one. So I don't use the good color, okay? It's just. Uh, a rest of threads. Et on va le mettre pour les gauchères. So, we forgot uh, the name of the stitch, but right now we know this is a scallop button hole stitch. So, you emerge the needle on the left side. You go down on the top line and just bring up the needle on the bottom line and it's always the same thing for the tension what you need to do is to pull 
towards you. I'm going to make a zoom, sorry. Oops. Okay. And try to make them very close of the last one. Look up. And the difficulty of this, this stitch is uh, the regularity on the top line. So you see, just here I've got a problem. So it doesn't matter because after you have a, a stem stitch to cover the, the line. Okay. But try to bring up your needle just on the bottom line. Okay. And look always the needle pass over the thread. You see? Look. Okay. And you pull towards you. One more. Peut-être un peu de netteté. Ouais, super. Is it okay, Elizabeth, for you? So look uh, at the beginning. You can see that stitches be, uh, will uh, uh, become smaller. You just you just have to follow the draw. And for the last one, look, it's very small. And to finish, you go down at the intersection. And uh, what you can do is uh, to pass with the, the same color directly, not to the next one, but to the other one. Because after with the other, the other thread can hide this one and to fix it on the, on the back. Voilà. <laughs> so, um, tu, uh, tu peux nous remettre toutes les deux. I hope all is okay for everybody. Uh, thank you uh, for your attention and your patience and to uh, your effort. You stay to understand me with my poor English. Um, uh, I look forward to seeing you uh, next week. In fact, uh, the last step uh, uh, next uh, Wednesday uh, for the last uh, step. What can recommend you? Uh, it's uh, because you have the files. Huh? Uh, it's uh, perhaps because I saw um, I saw it. It we it was better to uh, start. Okay, just just just. I'm going to try to show you. Yes, if you have time to order for the next session those two lines of stem stitch and the line of uh, running stitch. It will be easier because after uh, we need to embroider um, over those, uh, over those uh, lines. And uh, just to, if you want to know, uh, Christine, for the stem stitch, the two lines of stem stitch, uh, um, I'm going to give you just just one moment. Okay. Uh, the color, the good color is is uh, thirty four for the two lines of running stitch. The thirty four, and for the running stitch, uh, this is the seven hundred and twenty one. If you don't have time, don't worry. But if you have time, it's better. Okay. And um, in the meantime, take care of yourself and, uh, and uh, feel free to post your work and ask your question. Yes, I can see uh, uh, your name and uh, now I know where do you come from. So uh, feel free to post uh, your, uh, your own work. Uh, I will be happy. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. And uh, <laughs> Christine, if you, you want everybody. to speak, okay? Thank you, Christelle. Good night. Good night. Yes. <laughs> Allez, bye bye. Salut, Karine. J'ai vu ton petit mot. You're welcome, Sandra. Bye bye, Peggy.